What is up, Libra? Welcome to your general timeless reading. These are timeless, so whatever you see this is when it's most meant for you. These are also general, so please only take what resonates and leave the rest. If you want a personal reading or a Reiki session, you can go ahead and book it down below through my website in the description box. And if you want $10 off your first hour long service, go ahead and sign up for the email list. I don't blast you with emails. It's literally just so you guys get a discount code. So go ahead and check that out. If you want to check out Patreon as well, that's linked down below. That's where I do the monthlies, energy shift readings, moon cycle readings, weekly Patreon only videos. Like, share, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. It helps the channel grow. And let's get into it, Libra. Let's see what's going on. Let's start off with Witch's Tarot, because why not? Ooh, Libra. Libra's ready. Libra, you feel quiet, though. You feel quiet. I don't know why you're reminding me of Leo's energy from last week. Libra. I wanted to block out Leo. <laughs> Libra, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, Libra, Libra, oh, there we go, there you are, Libra's ready to party, Libra wants to party now, Libra's feeling a little wild, I like that, I like when Libra gets playful, I do, I do, I like playful Libra, okay, like flirty, very playful. I'm for it. My little sexy smirk. Mm. Okay. Okay. Nine of Swords. This is people around you. What, what, what are we dealing with? Eight of Wands. They're coming in quick. And the Hermit. Oh, why are they watching you? Nosy Rosies. All these nosy Rosies. Oh, but Libra, why are you, why are you doing this to me, Libra? <sighs> I feel like this is somebody watching you. I don't think this is your energy. Is somebody watching you? Um, we're gonna get you over here. Yeah, over here. Eight of Swords, yeah. You're like, ah, I'm not paying you any mind. Eight of Swords is in reverse. Another reversal. Yeah, Seven of Cups. Clear as day. You're like, I'm not confused. I'm not lost at all. I'm not, I'm not stuck on you. Yeah, Queen of Wands. Like I said, you remind me of Leo. Queen of Wands to me is Leo energy as a reader. It is Aries, though, if you're talking traditional, like, tarot definition. Like I said, you remind me of Leo. There you are, confident as could be. Super flirty, fiery energy. All right, I wanna, what's going on between these two energies? Three of Swords. Why are you doing me like that, Libra? I'm not doing anything to you. I'm out of my business. Why are you being a nosy rosy? King of Cups. Karma in reverse. Judgment. Six of Pentacles. Oh, they want your attention, but they're, they're you're not giving it to them because you're not a thing. <laughs> I don't feel like you even talk to this person. <laughs> I don't think that, I feel like this is somebody from your past that you do not entertain anymore and you're like, I'm kind of living my life, I'm doing my thing and whether you're talking to somebody new or you're entertaining somebody new or you're just hanging out with your friends, living your best life, whatever you're doing, you're over here doing it and you're like, I'm confident, I'm happy, I'm not, I'm not bound to anything, I'm, I'm out here living my dream, living my life, feeling great. Well, they're moving away. They're moving away so fast and I see them all over social media doing all these things and I miss my Libra and I want my Libra and I love my Libra and I want them back. Karma, judgment in reverse. It's not meant for them though. It's not of this person's highest good. They're still attached to it. And I think that they're still attached to it though out of familiarity 
because the three of swords in reverse there's not pain in there anymore it's healed it's just attachment it's a nine of swords it's stress it's anxiety it's fears it's a fear of movement of change there's a need to go within and see what they're really scared of because there's not a true, it's not an upright three of swords. It's not real heartbreak. It's not real pain. It's healed. Yeah, there's love there. They still care for, for Libra, right? They do. But their soul's not really called to Libra. And there's not a true craving to invest in this connection by either party. Six of Pentacles in reverse. They're not seeing that though. This King of Cups isn't seeing that. There is a fear of being alone. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. And not really wanting to work on that. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Right? Some insecurity coming up. So. Let's look into it. Let's do Crystal Visions. Crystal visions. Um, I'm going to read the signs really quick because, to be honest, uh, we get all the signs in a reading anyway. So, Nine of Swords, Gemini, Eight of Wands, Sagittarius, Hermit, Virgo, Three of Swords, Libra, King of Cups, Scorpio, Karma, Judgment, Pluto, Scorpio, Queen of Wands, Aries, Eight of Swords, Gemini, Seven of Cups, Scorpio, Six of Pentacles, Taurus. Okay. But for those of you who want to know the signs out in the spread, those are the signs in the spread. I'm going to most likely forget to read the majority of the signs once we get to clarifiers. <clears throat> I try to, but I get really into it, and then I forget. So, let's see what's going on with this Nine of Swords. Let's see what, what they're kind of freaking out about over here, or a little worried about. Ace of Cups in reverse. Like I said, there's a lack of self-love going on. Um... They, they don't, they don't want love. They want attention and affection. I'm sorry. I'm not being mean. I'm not being mean. I'm just telling you, it's not that they miss this individual. They miss the connection. Okay. They miss the, they miss an eight of cups. Just a, a ace of cups right whether it's from this queen or another queen or any other queen they they want an ace of cups but the one that they are most craving at this moment whether it was the most recent one they lost or not is the one from this queen right they want an ace of cups they want to feel that again and it's because they don't know how to give one to themselves ace of cups okay yeah, there's a lack of self-love going on here. That's so sad. Oh, let's look at the Nine of Swords. I want another on it. Yeah, Five of Swords. They feel defeated. They feel defeated. They do. They feel a little squashed. But that's what's keeping, keeping them stagnant. Wheel of Fortune reverse because they need to work on that to have their new beginning. Because they want a Queen of Cups. Not a Queen of Wands. They want a Queen of Cups. Because the Queen of Cups matches the King of Cups. Which is their own feminine energy. Not another Queen. They need to find their own feminine. Right? Okay. But they're feeling very defeated. Six of... Sorry. Five of Swords. Aquarius energy. Ace of Cups. Water energy. Very defeated. Very defeated. And it's not that they're defeated because of other connections. In order to have that fulfillment in self, you need to be able to provide that for self, right? Because we attract what we are. If we are whole as individuals, we attract individuals that are whole and in turn have connections that are whole, that are fulfilling, that are giving and balanced and harmonious and loving because we can give that to ourselves. If you want a Ten of Cups, are you giving yourself a Ten of Cups? Because if you can't give yourself a Ten of Cups, how can you recognize what a Ten of Cups truly is? Hmm? Mind blown, right? I know, right? Hmm? Just signing. Just signing. You're trying to manifest a Ten of Pentacles. Do you really know what a Ten of Pentacles is? 
Have you given yourself a Ten of Pentacles? Are you really accepting of a Ten of Pentacles? Because the universe is going to test the living hell out of you until you're ready to accept it. And the same thing with the Ten of Cups. If you don't feel truly deserving of a Ten of Cups and a Ten of Pentacles, the universe is going to help you see your limiting beliefs around love, around money, around stability, around scarcity mindset, and everything that is a block for that before you truly have that manifestation come in so you can overcome it and welcome it with over open arms. Um, okay, so let's look at, I feel like this is Libra moving away from this energy. Let's look at the Eight of Wands. Judgment. Yeah. Libra. But like I said, Libra is supposed to move away from this king and they're not accepting of that. They're moving away and that's the right thing. That is the right thing. They're moving away. It's the right thing. And they don't, they don't like that. They're like, no, you're not supposed to. You're not supposed to. They are. They're not accepting of that. Judgment in reverse, which is karma and which is tarot. Judgment clarifying the eight of wands, the movement. They're supposed to be moving away. The feminine is supposed to be moving away from this king. Let's look at the Hermit. I, I want to understand why they're watching them. Because the Hermit is typically like an energy of isolation, but very much so it feels like them. Yeah, there's the King, the King of Pentacles. Just watching, just watching, just, just watching. It's an analytical energy. It's a King of Pentacles is very practical, very, it's literally feels like somebody studying them. Just studying them. Tell me more about the Hermit. Sun in reverse. Wow. Oh, it's so sad. It, they just feel stuck. It literally feels like someone who's just stuck in the mud. Like the sun in reverse is oppression. It's someone who's, who's lacking that happiness, that light within them. They're literally sitting in the dark. They're like, nope, I'm, I can't move forward. I can't do it. Oh, my heart breaks for them. King of Pentacles, Taurus energy and the sun, Leo energy. This is sad. This is so sad. But it's it's choice though like it's it's really choice it's their perspective which is what's killing me here i'm going to clarify the king of cups and karma together i want to see why they are resisting letting this six of wands yeah seven of swords and the nine of swords it's a deceptive it's a deceptive thought to believe that this connection can be victorious that's going to lead to victory it's going to lead to recognition and happiness it's self-sabotaging. Seven of Swords and the Six of Wands. It's not real. It's not real. And they keep telling themselves, but this is my person. This is who I'm supposed to be with. Mm -mm. No. Nine of Swords in reverse. It's not. They need to let it go. They need to let it go. They need to stop. They're holding on for dear life. And it's, it's like, no, no. No. Please stop. Stop. Please. Uh, because what, all they're doing is stopping themselves. <sighs> Three of swords in reverse, clarified by the lovers in reverse. This connection's been done. Like, this is something that you've all, that this queen and this king, they, they've already parted. This is not somebody you're currently with and holding on to. Like, you've already ended things with this person. Or, or energetically already ended things with this person, right? Like, if you're living together and you're already checked out, this is Spirit's way of saying, like, yeah, it's, it's done. Like, you need to let it go. If you've already broken up and somebody's, like, holding on to the other person and watching them live their best life, you need to let it go. I'm not trying to be rude by any means. I hope you know that. It's just, it's so sad watching somebody hold on to an energy because you can only hold so much energy in your vessel. And if you're holding on to something that doesn't serve you anymore, all it's doing is taking up your precious space because this space could be occupied by something that is the sun that is happiness that is prosperity that is healing that is loving that is gentle that is a true ace of cups that is meant for you judgment right that is a true six of wands that isn't deceptive for the king of cups if you are the king of cups for you if you're not the king of cups for the other person, that would be healthy and balanced, right? I just hope that this person sees that because it's just horrible to watch somebody self-sabotage because that's what this is. They're self-sabotaging themselves by holding on to something that intuitively they know they have to let go of, but they're holding on to it out of this familiarity. 
It's just time to let go. This queen's oblivious. She, she like, she like, la -di -da -da -da. <laughs> like, off in her own little world. So let's, let's check out what's going on in her little world over here. Let's look at this. Eight of Swords, because she's completely detached. Completely detached. Which is a shame, because this king feels like they're trying to hold on to like the last little thread of their energy for dear life. Yeah. Four of Wands. She's, she's off in like fantasy land. Yeah, she, she's so detached, it's not funny. She's so detached. Does not, not even aware that this king not even aware that this king is, is holding on to the idea of this connection still. Completely oblivious. Completely oblivious. Doesn't see it. Don't see it. You're holding on to what? What? No idea that the king is bound. The king of swords. Eight of swords. Bound. To the idea of the four of wands. No idea. Oblivious. You're what? Let's look at the seven of cups. Yeah, she's Seven of Cups, the Magician, the Knight of Wands in Reverse, and the Knight of Cups. Not interested, not interested at all in the pursuit of this, of this king coming back. If they were to come back and try to almost like court the queen with anything and everything that they think the queen would want. Because between the nine and the seven is the two of cups in reverse. And that's the connection coming back. Not interested. The queen wouldn't have it. And they know that. Like, clear as day, they know that. They're like, yeah, it's not an option for me. It's not, it's not something I'm interested in. Very confidently. Like, they're very shut off to it. Let's look at the queen of wands. Yeah, six of pentacles in reverse. They don't want to invest in it. Temperance in reverse, they don't want to reconcile. Ace of Swords. Clear as day. Five of Pentacles, bottom of the deck. They're out. They're out. Followed by the High Priestess, followed by Death in reverse. Followed by the Six of Swords. They know it's done. Their higher consciousness is telling them, this cycle's done, it's closed out, it's time for me to move on. Six of Swords, walking away. They're done. The Queen's done. The, the, the Queen... They're just checked out. They're, they're totally like la di da di da on to next. Such polar opposite energy, like pursuit, 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 next chapter. Boop. Totally left field. Total left field. I want to look at the um, Six of Pentacles with the Ace of Swords. I know this is really upsetting a lot of people in the collective. Like I, I can feel, I can feel the thumbs down <laughs> right now. Like I really can. And I'm, I, I hate to be the messenger for readings like this. I do, but... Oh, it's horrible. It's horrible. Let's look at the Six of Pentacles. Uh, Eight of Swords. Yeah. This king, I don't think, realizes that this queen isn't going to invest, isn't willing to invest. They don't see that. They're not willing to see that because there's, yeah, there's a lot of, I don't want to be single. I don't want to be alone. A lot of insecurity still. A lot of insecurity still. With the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy and the Six of Cups in reverse, there's a lot of insecurity about the past. And they're like, well, I, I don't want to deal with the insecurities. I don't want to deal with my lack of confidence. I don't want to be alone. But I also don't want to accept that this queen isn't willing to invest or fix or reconcile this connection. I don't want to see that either. But that's the truth for this queen. They're like, I want my new cycle. I'm gone. I'm on to the next. I'm clear as day, not entertaining this. This is definitely somebody from the past, though. This isn't, I don't feel that this is, if you are currently entertaining somebody brand new, I don't think that this is that connection. I very much so think that, like, this is an ex. Or this is somebody that you previously were talking to before your current person who is now watching you with your current person like, oh, well, now that you have somebody, I want you back. It kind of feels like that. Okay? But Libra, this is what I have for you. If you are the king, I'm sending lots of love and healing your way. 
if you are not the king, I hope that you hold space for this king and I hope that you send a lot of love and healing to them as well because remember we are all unity consciousness, right? I am one, you are one, we are one. So holding space for others in the collective is important for all of us to ascend, all of us to become closer to our higher selves. Um, and that's part of being the best version that you can be for the collective, for higher consciousness energy. So I really hope that you work through that frequency with me, right? But I love you. If you want a personal reading or a Reiki session, go ahead, book it down below. Um, remember to hold space for everybody regardless of your relationship with them because that is shadow work, okay? And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.